If you live in L.A., you might see some mini minion looking robots that are roaming the streets. They're actually delivering food for more than 300 restaurants for Uber Eats, courtesy of Serve Robotics. The company just announced a new deal to put 2,000 robots on the Uber Eats platform in cities across the United States as soon as the end of this year. And joining us right now to talk about it is Ali Kashani. He is the co-founder and CEO of Serve Robotics. We've got one of the little robots here with us. Uh, but Ali, thank you for uh, Ali, thank you for coming in and talking about this. Thanks for having me. I can't believe this is really happening in LA right now. How, how does it work? How many people are being served, and how far can these robots go right now? You know, average delivery in LA is just uh, you know about one mile and a half. Uh, so these robots can do a couple of mile deliveries pretty comfortably. Um, we've served uh, 300 restaurants for thousands of households already. We've been out in LA for a year and a half with Uber alone. And, uh, yeah, growing really quickly. They can only go seven miles an hour, though, right? That's right. So if you're more than a mile away, you've got to get more than an hour. My guess would be most of them are within a few blocks or half a mile at the most. Yeah, I mean, again, between half a mile to one and a half, that's, that's usually the range. Average delivery we do is about a mile. But if it's a mile, it, it's going to take a while. It takes about 20 minutes. Okay, 20 time. minutes to they get there to get through yeah. the thing. Okay, how does it work? How does it know not to run people over, not to get run over by things? How does it know how to navigate its way through? There's a lot of AI in here. Uh, so we have dozens of different AI models. Uh, it's actually with large language models. It's the same thing underneath, which is deep neural networks that lets these robots understand the world, you know, where to navigate, who to avoid. It can actually tell if a driver is inattentive and is about to collide with a robot. It stays out of the way. So they're really, really smart. There's does like it go media on the street or the sidewalk? Here. It's on the sidewalk, but it crosses the street. And, and it won't run anyone over, and, it and right. it's locked. That's right, yeah. Is it mostly In-N-Out burgers out there at this point? <laughs> uh, it, that's, it, Zoe, uh, are there different names? On, yeah, or? each one of them has a personal name, yeah. No way. Absolutely. Uh, male and both, both, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you started to say that there's yeah. NVIDIA chips. That's, that's one of right. your biggest yeah. investors, that's right. too. That's, You've been working with them for five years. Yeah, we've been working pretty much the beginning of the project. They've been a wonderful uh, partner to us. Is have, it yeah. heated? Can it keep it warm, or is it's it like insulated. a thermos? So, so it's it, like it a thermos. Keeps it in a good keeps temperature. cold things cold and warm. That's right. That's Andrew, right. I think he has a question too. Andrew. Yeah. What what's the co what's the cost uh, to you of, of production of each of each of these uh, devices? Um, at, at scale, this would cost you know uh, thousands of dollars. So they're not they're not that expensive to build. Um, but at, and, at not yeah. scale, which is where they are now, it's still cheaper than a car, which is what we use today. And but it's the, both cheaper than a car and and a an, and person driving the car. That's right. Yeah, it's it really brings efficiency uh, to the process. Okay, so but, what but we're seeing. I, I guess Ali, where I'm going with this is, yeah. is this a fifty thousand dollar device today? Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's not a fifty thousand dollar device. No, it's cheaper than that. What we're seeing in studio what, what kind is, of... is okay. somebody just unlocked it and opened right. it, and that's how you keep people from being able to. It's secured. Yeah. So you use your Uber Eats app and press a button when the robot is in front of you. It opens uh, the lid only for the person who ordered the food. Which stores, again, are using this right now? There's like 300 different restaurants. 7-Eleven is one of them. 7-Eleven is one of our uh, other partners besides Uber. Yeah. Yeah. They're working with do they deliver those old hot dogs? They're already <laughs> six months old. Slurpees and... <laughs> <laughs> Um, the, I know that you partner with Uber. You used to be a part of Uber. You That's were right. bought with Postmates and brought in, but you spun off. Why, why separate from Uber? You said this was a plan that was already in the works before Uber got Yeah, involved. you know, it's a logistic company. We need to work with everybody for this to have the best, uh, you know, economics. It's all about scale. So it made sense for us to be independent so we actually can work with others. Delivery Hero, which is uh, another delivery platform that's not active in the U.S., they're in Europe and Asia. They're one of our other investors, too. So we plan to be working with them. Nobody's ever stolen one of these things no. or tried to break into them? What I mean, people mess around, but uh, these robots are actually more reliable in getting things to the destination than human couriers are today. So who, do you, who else you got in L.A.? You got uh, Tommy Burgers? Apple Pan? What do you, what do you there's, there's a long list of folks. Uh, usually a lot of mom and pop shops, you know, the ones you may not have even heard of <laughs> right. uh, that we work with. Yeah. Tacos? <laughs> Lots of options. <laughs> Ali, I want to thank you very much for coming in and uh, appreciate you bringing Zoe along yeah. too. Thanks for having me. Got it. Talk.